Hello, I'm Josh Pearl. Uh, my wife's Crystal Pearl. She's a presidential diamond in the business. Uh, she's been in for four years. Um, I guess I just got back from conference. Conference was just amazing, and I, I can't stop thinking about it. And I want to do, I want to tear this business up with my wife. So, either way, I was asked multiple times at conference what our story was, um, just by several people or whatever. So I'm gonna try to get the story out today because usually I end up too emotional when I'm on stage to get the whole thing out. Um, so anyway, um, like I say, my wife joined four years ago. Um, when she signed up, she obviously didn't tell me anything about it. What happened was, is uh, my wife did hair, Crystal did hair, and so she's in her salon and uh, Lori Humble sat in her chair, ended up blitzing her. Um, Crystal obviously checked out that blitz card and ended up, um, I think, purchasing some product or a wrap or something, trying it out. And you know she was interested in uh, tightening up, toning up. Um, she had some stretch marks she wanted to get taken care of. And either way, so she tried the product, must have liked it, and um, she hopped on Lori's website and signed right up. And she didn't tell me or Lori about this, I guess, because that's the story I hear now. Um, I definitely didn't hear about it. And so when I did find out, is all of a sudden we have It Works product all over our house and. Then we started having rap parties at our house, and then Crystal tells me that she spent this money. I think it was $199 when she signed up, and we didn't have $199 for her to sign up, that's for sure. Um, what had actually happened, the reason we didn't have money is because we just had twin daughters, and Crystal at 24 weeks got put on bed rest, so she was unable to do hair, and then I got laid off from my job. Um, I was an apprentice pipe fitter at the time, uh, Minneapolis pipe fitter. And so I got laid off, and so we were both out of work collecting my unemployment and just racking up money on credit cards. Uh, Crystal likes to live a luxurious lifestyle and has to have fancy clothes and uh, likes to live it up, I guess. So um, either way, we racked up some debt, and we were not in any, any situation to be entering a business for $199. Um, she went ahead and did it and told me she was going to do it, um, even when I told her she's crazy. And so... Um, I don't know, just, it seemed unreal to me that she could join a business and she was getting told that she's going to sell her app for $25 and going to make all this money. Uh, just so, it doesn't seem right. So I guess she continued to press on and, and she started attending meetings and trainings. And um, so she'd come back and tell me about, oh my gosh, you got to hear this about, you know, Darlene Roth and you got to hear this about Lori and they're making all this money. And, you know, if, if I do this, then this. And, and all I'm thinking about is, oh my God, we are wasting so much money right now. And I, I gave her hell. I was I was not a supportive guy. I was truthfully just I was pretty rude. I was a, I was a very bad husband and at the time, um, but it just it just, it didn't seem right. So either way, uh, I guess fast forward. She continued these trainings and and she seemed to be doing well with the business. She was very happy at the time. I did not pay any attention to it. I, I continued to give give her hell. And um, either way, one day she comes back and. She just was just glowing and, and she'd gotten back from meeting with Darlene and Lori and all the girls, all the ladies and so she's got a beach ball and, and she didn't show me it. I went down into her office and seen it and it had all of her goals on it and it just seemed like the most silly thing in the world at the time. Um, I grew up with sports and all that so I know what goals are all about and visions but the goals that she had on there were so ridiculous and so silly at the time it just it seemed so unreal. <sighs> anyway. She ended up just, fast forward, she teared up the business, she tore it up, she achieved all those goals in a year, and um, so I didn't get to give her the pat on the back when she was at Diamond or uh, Double Diamond, Triple Diamond, I didn't give her the pat on the back, but eventually, like at, I think it was Double Diamond, anyway, she, at Double Diamond, um, showed me her check, it was a very nice looking check, and I think that was the point where I started to shut my mouth a bit and I stopped being so hard on her because it was like the slap in the face like she actually did prove me wrong and um, so I just let her kind of do what she wanted with the business at that point point. and then eventually um, she showed me like a triple diamond check and then a presidential diamond check and the presidential diamond check that she showed me was like that's when I asked her you know is this fake or you know is this real I mean, when do we have to give this money back? Is it, and I asked, asked her if it's stealing. I don't know, you know, where, where's this money coming from? Um, once again, I don't, I don't know how you can make that much money selling a $25 wrap. I just, I just didn't get it. And so anyway, she's like, you got to come to this event with me. The following week, there was a one team, one mission where um, um, Pam and Mike were going to be there. 
And um, so she did, she talked me into it. I showed up there in my work uniform and met a lot of people for the first time. I, you know, I met Lori and Darlene and all them for the first time. And um, either way, uh, we were there and everybody's just, uh, it was a big hype. There's probably only 200 people there, but it was, it was a very big hype over, oh my gosh, Crystal, you know, presidential, wow, that's so amazing. And, and I didn't understand it at the time. I didn't know what she'd really done. And so then she gets recognized for it. You know, she's up in front of everybody and, and Pam and Mike, you know, are just giving her praise and, and um, you know, she got to speak and she spoke like a, a queen. She's just, you know, the personal development in the business is unreal. What, 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 what has happened to my wife is unreal. She's changed. It's, she's a much more powerful, strong, um, just confident woman. It's, it's amazing. So either way, there she is up there with her presidential speech, talking to everybody and, um, just getting recognized and she deserved it. You know, she put up with hell with me and um, she definitely busted uh, butt, we'll call it, um, to get where she is. And, and I'm, I'm so proud of her for it. Um, and this was the very first time where she came sat down next to me and I was like, wow, baby, actually you did something here. Like, this is amazing, look what you did. And, and then, you know, we started talking about all those goals that she, you know, in the past year um, achieved and and the ones that we were about to achieve at that point well anyway so then another two weeks down the road I think it was we ended up going to Dash you know she made presidential so we were able to go to Dash and that's where I met some more of the top leaders in the business at the time and the amount of love and just good-hearted people there was amazing holy smokes I met great people and that's where I started to like realize wow there's a real business here you know it's not just that she's selling a $25 wrap and and stealing this money from people or something that, you know, I still wasn't confident with the business. Um, so that, that was the first time where I like, saw like there's some backbone here. And then I got to hear, um, you know, Mark and Cindy speak and we actually got to meet them and hug them and shake hands and, and really, you know, they were involved with us. It was a small group at the time. So it was just, it was really great, great experience. And it just really assuring to find out that this is the real deal. And so then, after that, we ended up going to conference, and that was my first conference was when she was presidential also. So I went to conference and came out of there with, you know, the knowledge of the product from, you know, hearing Dr. Don speak there, that guy just, you know, he's phenomenal at his job. He does a great job of uh, displaying the product and, and letting you know about it. And um, I just, I, I didn't want to end up distributing and helping out with a business that I didn't know what the heck the product was doing or, you know, all, all that. I wanted some knowledge before I started pushing the product, I guess. So either way, I got to, I got to learn about the product. I got uh, the passion of the business from conference. And it just, when I came out of there, I was ready to go. I was on fire. I didn't know what to do, but I wanted to do it. And I wanted to help Crystal out. So I'm not afraid to talk to people. So I started blitzing and I was handing out probably three or four blitz cards a day. No problem. Um, I'm, I'm a service guy. I work Minneapolis. I'm a Minneapolis pipe fitter, so I do service. I run all over the cities, uh, taking care of heating and cooling, in different buildings. So at any given time that I had an opportunity, whether it's uh, somebody within the building, you know, somebody that works in an office in the building, possibly, or if I was in a hotel, it could be somebody that I cross paths with in a, in a hotel, a anywhere, a gas station. I blitzed wherever I had the opportunity at the time to try to help her out. And then next to that, I did whatever I could at home to try to help her run her business more efficiently. So I just tried to keep the kids off of her butt so much. Um, obviously dishes and, and laundry and all that. And then just anything I could do to help her run a more efficient business. She's kind of a mess to herself. So I had to, you know, we had to um, do what we could to kind of keep her office in order as well. Um, so then from there, now here we are today um, and today we just got back from conference, obviously. That's why I made this, because I'm just so pumped, so pumped. Uh, I guess if there was one thing I could say is, if you want to tear this business up, you guys, you, you got to find a reason why you want this. Uh, what this business can give you is just unreal. You can have, you can have financial freedom that you, your main goal should be, if you are in debt, to get out of debt. So that's number one. But then from there, find your, your vision, find your goal. I don't know, make that silly beach ball or whatever the heck and put your goals on there and knock them off there. Just tear it up. Um, I'll tell you what, what she did is just phenomenal and it's really hard to soak up everything up that happened in these past years. Um, I guess you'd call it a brag board rather than you know the goal board now, but 
So I mean, on there, we, we both have new new vehicles. Um, we got you know the four wheeler. We have this house. We kept our old one. We rented out. Um, it's just amazing. I, I guess I don't want to sit here and brag about what I, would, I do want to let you know is that this is the real deal, and that if if you're committed and, and you and you stay plugged in and uh, you work with good people, you're going to tear this business up, and and some major things can happen for your family.